In this video, you will learn level plus non-verbal reasoning type 9, hole punching part 2. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now let's have a look at this example. So let's start by seeing how the paper has been folded in each of the figures. So let's start with figure one. In figure one, if you notice, we have a fold right here. And the fold is none other than the right side portion of the paper. So the right side portion of the paper has been folded to give us the fold we have in figure one. Now let's move to figure two. In figure two, if you're wondering how the paper has been folded, well, the paper has been folded along the center line horizontally. So it has been folded basically like this. So that's how the paper has been folded in figure two. And finally, in figure three, a hole has been punched on the right hand side. Since we now know how the paper has been folded in figure one and two, let's unfold the paper in figure three to find our answer. So we're going to work our way backwards so in the opposite direction. So let's start by unfolding the paper downwards. So in figure two, we folded the paper halfway on a center line. Now we're going to unfold the paper halfway on its center line. So when we unfold the paper, you're going to get the paper looking like this. So it's going to look just like this. And also you're going to get a hole around this region. This is because you have a hole right here. And when you unfold the paper, you're going to get another one right here. Now we have unfolded the paper. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to unfold the paper in an even further way. So next we're going to unfold the right hand side portion of the paper. So in figure one, we folded the right hand side portion. Now we're going to unfold it. And when you unfold it, the paper is going to look like this. So you're going to get the whole paper back and will look like this. And also when you unfold this, because you have two holes here, and when you unfold it, you're going to get another two holes right here. That means you're going to get one aligned with this hole and another one aligned with the bottom hole. So this means, as you guys could see, we have four holes. We have one, two, three, and four, which means we can go ahead and cross off A, because in A you only have two, cross off C, in C you only have three, and cross off D, because in D you also only have three. Now we're left with B and E. If you pay close attention to the circles, in E, there's a larger gap between both of the circles, so the gap between the circles is huge. But over in B, the gap between the circles is actually very small. And if you have a look at figure three, the gap between the circles is also very small. But in E, the gap is very large, so therefore we can cross off E, and we're now left with B. So that means our answer to this question is B. Now let's check if B is right by folding and punching the paper. So let's take a paper first. And then we're going to do the first fold, which is to fold the right hand side portion of the paper. Now, after you've done the first fold, the next thing is to fold this paper along its halfway line. So along the horizontal line halfway. Now we've done our second fold as well. All that's remain is to punch the paper. So we're going to punch the paper right here. And then after punching the paper, now we can unfold this paper to find our answer. So we're going to unfold this into half and then we can remove the portion we have on the right. And as you guys could see, we have four number of holes and the holes are positioned in the right direction, just like in B. So that means our answer to this question is B. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.